The movie begins by introducing a man named Adam, who is forced out of his home due to financial struggles. Adam is a former prisoner, released on parole after spending 16 years in jail for a murder conviction. Shortly after, he seeks refuge with his old friend Steve, asking to stay at his place for a while. Unfortunately, all the rooms in Steve's house are already occupied. Despite feeling sorry, Steve eventually agrees to help Adam, offering him space in the warehouse and Steve also gives Adam a job managing his bar. Meanwhile, Mike, a rocker who faced his band's downfall, ends up managing his uncle Lef's drug business. Lef is a gangster boss involved in various illegal activities. On that particular day, Lef assigns Mike to handle a weapon purchase transaction. Later, Mike meets two weapon suppliers in his car, but one of them is more focused on his phone than the transaction. Feeling ignored, Mike confronts him, leading to tension. Eventually, the gangster showcases the weapons ordered by Lef. After finishing the deal, Mike heads back to Lef's base. However, Lef is angry because Mike packed the weapons in paper bags instead of proper packaging. Meanwhile, a young man named Eli is fixing electronic devices at his house. He's Mike's close friend and also part of their band. Lately, he's been more focused on projects than pursuing music. Soon after, Eli's mother becomes upset upon hearing about Adam's release from prison. It turns out Adam was responsible for her eldest son's death. As a mother, she still holds a grudge against Adam. Nonetheless, Eli encourages her to let go of the past to prevent it from negatively affecting her health. Meanwhile, Adam heads to the police station to report to Patricia, a female officer assigned to monitor him. During the meeting, Adam talks about his daily job at Steve's bar. However, Patricia is concerned because Adam returned to his hometown, where there are many gangsters who could lead him into criminal again. Despite Patricia's worries, Adam remains indifferent as he hasn't broken any laws so far. Afterward, he visits his ex-wife Donna's house, but she's disappointed and refuses to see him again. Donna considers Adam as irresponsible. Later, Adam asks Steve for help in reconnecting with his son, Jimmy. Initially hesitant, Steve eventually agrees out of sympathy, since Adam hasn't seen his son since he was a baby. Steve then takes him to a park where Jimmy often hangs out. At the park, Adam watches Jimmy play basketball, intending to keep his identity hidden to avoid awkwardness. He joins the game to get closer to his son. However, things get tense when Jimmy almost gets into a fight with another man. Despite being hit, Adam stays calm and continues playing. After the game, Jimmy questions why Adam didn't fight back, and he explains that he prefers to avoid conflicts. Meanwhile, Lef accompanies Mike to buy drugs. Apart from arms dealing, Lef is also a drug dealer. They visit Jamal, the city's top drug supplier, whom Lef has been dealing with for five years. After the transaction, Jamal offers a new drug, but Lef declines. However, Mike shows interest in selling it for a big profit. Upon hearing Jamal's offer, Lef warns Mike not to interfere in his business matters. Mike feels humiliated as they leave Jamal's place. Lef then cautions Mike about trusting people blindly, reminding him that those in the criminal world often have ulterior motives. Despite his tough exterior, Lef genuinely cares for Mike, having raised him after his mother passed away. Back at headquarters, a drug addict accuses Lef's henchman, Siki, of selling low-quality drugs. At that time, Siki denies the accusation and promptly attacks the man. Later that evening, Eli visits Mike's house to discuss the band's future over drugs. Mike suggests moving to Austin, where rock music is popular, and finding a new drummer. However, Eli is distracted by Adam's presence in town and is hesitant to talk about the band. Afterward, Eli meets his girlfriend, Lori. During their drive, Eli shares his distress about his brother's killer being released from prison. Lori advises him to let go, but Eli reacts angrily, refusing her advice. Eventually, Lori asks to be let out of the car, feeling uncomfortable with Eli's behavior. Meanwhile, Lef goes with Mike to sell drugs to a gang leader named ER during the deal. They witness ER's men brutally attacking a debtor in a remote area. ER then invites them for drinks, but they decline, disturbed by the violence. The next day, Lef and Siki visit their regular weapon supplier, with Lef threatening him with a gun. 
Back at headquarters, Lev tasks Mike with picking up drugs from a new supplier and gives him an unloaded pistol for protection, but Mike refuses to proceed without a loaded gun. Shortly after, Mike asks Eli to join him, offering him a cut of the profits. They feel uneasy as they enter the drug dealer's place, surrounded by intimidating individuals. Later, Mike suggests to Eli that they start their own drug business with Jamal as their supplier, but Eli isn't interested in the drug trade at the moment. At the base, Mike witnesses ER buying drugs from Lef. Besides drugs, Lef offers to sell ER two new pistols, one of which was supposed to be given to Eli by Mike, causing Lef's annoyance. Later that evening, Mike talks privately with Lef, expressing his wish to stop being involved in illegal activities and start his own business independently. Despite Lef's disappointment, he reluctantly agrees to let Mike pursue his own ventures, as long as Mike pays rent if he continues living in his house. Meanwhile, Adam meets Donna again, asking for permission to see Jimmy without revealing his true identity. However, Donna remains firm in not allowing him to contact their son. While heading home, Adam passes by the place where he committed the act that resulted in Eli's older brother's death, bringing back memories from 16 years ago. After shaking off his thoughts, Adam goes to the park to meet his son. While waiting, he sketches a couple nearby. Soon after, Jimmy arrives with his friends, showing interest in Adam's drawing and approaching him. Seeing his son's interest in drawing, Adam invites Jimmy to join him in sketching, offering him guidance. Jimmy, unaware of Adam's talent, bonds with him during this activity, still unaware of their biological connection. When they return home from the park, Jimmy is fascinated by the drawing. However, Donna becomes angry upon seeing it, as it reminds her of Adam. She quickly takes the drawing away from Jimmy and contacts Patricia for help in keeping Adam away from Jimmy. Despite Patricia's inability to intervene as it's not a police matter, Donna plans to manipulate her son into hating Adam by portraying him as intentionally absent from their lives for 16 years. Meanwhile, Siki invites Mike to sell drugs at a bar, where Mike sees Adam working as a waiter. Recognizing Adam as responsible for Ailey's brother's death and influenced by Siki, Mike confronts Adam, leading to Adam being outnumbered and attacked. The next morning, Ailey's mother suffers a breakdown upon seeing Adam near her house, distressed by the presence of her son's killer. At the same time, Adam meets Patricia, who advises him to avoid contacting Donna and Jimmy due to Donna's discomfort. However, Adam insists on his right to see his son. Later on, he tries once again to approach his son in the park. However, this time Jimmy keeps his distance, feeling let down and believing his father intentionally left him. Meanwhile, Eli reconciles with Lori to apologize for his recent strange behavior, but Lori, already upset, decides to end their relationship. In the midst of his problem, Eli receives news of his mother's unconscious. Worried, he rushes to the hospital where he finds out she had a heart attack. His mother expresses anger upon seeing Adam, her son's killer, in the city, worsening her condition. Eli tries to comfort her, hoping to prevent any further health issues. While his mother rests, Eli seeks comfort at Mike's place, only to discover Mike's involvement with Lori. Furious, Eli confronts Mike before leaving abruptly. Feeling regretful, Mike plans to apologize, but Lori insists their relationship is over. Despite the strain on their friendship, Mike finds support in Lori, considering a move to Austin to escape their current situation, which requires a substantial amount of money. As a result, Mike visits Jamal to secure a supply of drugs for sale, eventually resorting to borrowing money from ER to cover the expenses. However, ER demands collateral, leading Mike to offer his uncle's car as a guarantee of his commitment to the illegal business. The next day, Adam meets Jimmy again, who initially rejects his attempts to reconcile, even when offered money. Undaunted, Adam approaches Donna, expressing regret and a wish for reconciliation, but Donna insists he stay away from Jimmy. Despite her warning, Adam continues to visit the park, where Jimmy eventually agrees to talk. Here, Adam discloses the truth about his 16-year absence, where he was in prison. In his younger days, Adam and Steve were close friends. However, a conflict arose when Steve flirted with a woman who was involved with Ailey's older brother. This led to a physical fight between Ailey's brother and Steve. 
Adam then intervened, resulting in a tragic incident where Eli's brother lost his life unintentionally. Reflecting on this tragic past, Adam apologizes to Jimmy, acknowledging of his absence in his son's life. After learning the truth, Jimmy asserts his independence, expressing his desire to freely interact with his father. Yielding to her son's wishes, Donna allows Adam to see Jimmy and expresses her willingness to reconcile for their son's sake bringing happiness to Adam upon reuniting with his family. Meanwhile, Eli continues to struggle emotionally amid his mother's declining health. Disappointed by Mike and Lori's betrayal, Eli's job performance suffers, leading to his dismissal. Later that evening, Eli confronted Mike, threatening him with a gun to end his relationship with Lori. However, his plans were failed when he realized he had been deceived by Jamal in a drug deal. Frustrated and desperate to pay off his debt to ER, Mike resorted to robbery to obtain the necessary money. At the same time, Eli sought refuge at Steve's bar to calm his emotions, but his anger grew when he saw Adam among the staff. As the bar cleared out and closing time neared, Eli saw an opportunity to seek vengeance for his brother's death, confronting Adam with a pistol. Initially mistaking Eli for a robber, Adam apologized sincerely once Eli revealed his true motive. Shortly after, Mike entered the bar with intentions of robbery, prompting Eli to react impulsively, leading to fatal consequences for Mike. Despite Adam's efforts to defuse the situation and offer help, Eli remained determined to seek revenge. The next day, Donna and Jimmy were shocked to learn about Adam's death, leaving Donna heartbroken despite Adam's desire to be a caring father. Meanwhile, Jimmy struggled with the permanent absence of his father. On the other hand, Eli avoided legal consequences as authorities deemed Adam and Mike's deaths as a result of a mutual fight. At the same time, Lef, unaware of Mike's fate, sought revenge from ER, resulting in ER's death. In the end of the film, Jimmy decided to pursue a career in arts to honor his father's memory by creating drawings. Moral lesson from the story, if you borrow your uncle's car as collateral for an illegal business, make sure to return it with a full tank because you might be mistaken for a robber at your favorite bar.